How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. This is my first foot swap review on this channel. It's the French CDM from Wolfsburg, Joshua Gilamoji. I've been trying to pronounce his name for like half an hour now, so I hope you do appreciate my efforts in terms of pronouncing his name. If I do get it wrong, I do apologise to any Frenchmen out there or any Wolfsburg fans or fans of the player in general. So in terms of the review today, I was putting it off man, because I thought, you know what, in terms of the review, everyone knows he's a solid player, but I just, if they know he's worth it or not, that's what was making me want to do this review. And then something to do in Foot Champions, yes, Foot Champions, this guy, he went into another gear, he blitzed it, and I thought, you know what, he deserves a review, you guys deserve to know, if you're saving it for a Pedro, this guy might just change your mind. So lads, if you do enjoy the review, you know what to do, smash a like in it straight away, and let's try and crack 1,000 likes for Joshua Gilaboji, and uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel or anything like that, drop a subscription to the channel, and click that little bell as well, to be notified of future uploads. In terms of the formation that we're playing today, it's a 4 2 3 one in the Foot Champions, Jaden Sancho, Goes to Ram, Mbappe goes to Lamb, striker is Timo Werner, middle cam is Marco Royce, and then we've got like uh, the battle horses in midfield uh, of Makaleli and Joshua Gilavoji. Makaleli is an interception god. Uh, Gilavo uh, I can't even say, I'm getting his name wrong or bloody ready. Uh, Gilavoji is, you're about to find out, lads. So let's get straight into the review. So here we go, then, lads. And if you're wondering about the price of a foot swap Gilavoji, it's free. Foot swap items are free apart from the SBC. So uh, with this card costing four foot swap items, yes, just four for an easy. 84 rated card with the stats that you're about to see in there, the, the, the presence he brings to the game that you're about to see in this video, it's nuts man, it's very cheap and I'm very happy I did get this card. In terms of, um, yeah, his price and whatnot, you can uh, get free foot swap items right now from the weekly objectives and he does squad battles as well to get the fourth one, so it could be completely free this card, completely free and I know you're saving up for Pedro, you guys know who you are, but this guy could in fact change your mind like I said earlier on. He's got two star skills, three star, we've got medium to high work rates and he is six foot two tall. Now in terms of his in-game stats, the cynics and monster you are going to look at the acceleration, say 69 acceleration, it's just not fast enough for me, but you look at a lot of CDMs on this game, normally they don't have great acceleration apart from like uh, maybe Kante or someone like that, but you look at the acceleration, it's plus 15 with a shadow chem style, plus 10 on the sprint speed, that is great, that is good enough, even though the acceleration in game, it takes him a little while to hit that top speed, I'm not going to lie, it actually does, and it will be amongst the cons once you do see them, it, it, he's, he's alright man, he's alright in terms of pace on this game, in terms of shot power, it's 92, the short pass is 87, the long pass is 83, in terms of the dribbling, 59 agility, 55 bounce, I'll talk about that in the gameplay, 88 reactions, 81 ball control, 82 composure, and I'll get into the defending stats and the physical stats once we talk about them, but the first thing, let's show you the goals, let's show you the assist that he did get, this is a fantastic player, done right hands from, from uh, Jin Sancho actually, plays it inside to Marco Royce, Marco Royce and Gilles Boshi, uh, the rest is history, and that is on his free star weak foot lads, free star weak foot because he is right foot primarily, what a bloody strike man, and that's just the power that this guy presents, because he just puts it on show every single time, the power, whether it be in for the challenge, whether it be a, a powerful dribble, whether it be a powerful shot, he puts his power on display every single time, and uh, his height, he's 6 or 2, in terms of corners, he's going to be a deadly force defensive and offensively, because he is that tall, 6 or 2 tall, he's got great head accuracy, if he wins a corner, he's going to head it in the back of the net, he's got 88 head accuracy, he will score goals, will Gilavoji, in terms of these assists and whatnot, this is Aubameyang down the right hand side, this is late on in the game, just remember that, because this is like the 88th minute, I'm 3-2 down, in foot champions, he passes across, easy as you like, and Eden has that taps that into the back of the net so in terms of the assist he can get in those advanced positions and just use his kind of noggin and uh, nowhere to go at every time and noggin is a like um like an English word, a northern word for brain. So he uses his brain to kind of um, do what you do, you've do. seen him do on the pitch, man. He's powerful, his positioning is immaculate. I've got nothing wrong to say about his position, whether it be offensively, if he does drift in the offense, because it's very rarely he does. But once he does, use the shot power, lads. Use the shot power. So let's get into that defender category, because we're going to start talking, start talking, start talking. I can't even talk myself. But we're going to start talking about his defensive attributes. So let's have a look at these, 86 interceptions, this guy is an interception god, just like Makaleli on this game, he intercepts absolutely everything, which you've seen in the back 
background right now you're seeing tacos interceptions headers etc etc and just um yeah Gilavoji in his elements it literally is in his elements so interceptions it's not amongst the pros list but it definitely is a pro for Gilavoji him accuracy is 88 you've seen that already because from the corner this guy was deadly as he gets inside the area what's he gonna do he tries to cut it back he tries to pass it back once more but they don't come off the pass with the Jin Sancho did come off but Jin Sancho didn't put it in the back of the net he's got 82 mark and he follows his man mark and uh player very very well I set him to man mark as well lads and actually paid off today it really really did because for chance yesterday I was 9 and 5 today I'm 19 and 6 that's just how impressive Gilles Vosier was to me today and that's the change I made to my team lovely from Royce and a lovely finish in terms of stand tackle it's 81 and uh, the slide tackle is 85 so normally it's higher the stand tackle is higher than the slide tackle but with Gilles Vosier, it's actually the other way around and I've got plus 14 on his slide tackle so this guy can make a tackle on this game as you would have seen another interception there in the background leading up to a goal yet again they make it 4-3 in that game against a full team of icons and Ronaldo and David here of course but in terms of the pros then the power the height 6 foot 2 it makes him win corner kicks um, goal kicks from your opponents crosses in the area from the uh, defensive corner kicks stuff like that he wins them in the air and he does a great job of doing that as he intercepts another one there in the background his aggression it makes him win 50-50 challenges all the time and he's so damn good at it I mean, this guy is a tackling master as well. He knows his trade, it's tackling, it's defending, it's using his power all the time, and um, he's just great at man, he's just great at tackling, definitely a pro, because his slide tackle, his stand tackle, sensational at both. In terms of the passing, this guy can uh, thread a through ball, he can definitely play on the attack, because he's got 87 short pass, that's better than most attackers on this game, and 83 long pass, if you see like an over the top through ball or anything like that, flip it over the top because he's got very good passing on this game. Shot power, 92. I've spoken about many times in this review. He's got a crack and strike on him and you've seen it evidenced in the first goal. In terms of cons of the card, acceleration. Why do you have acceleration in there even though you said his acceleration isn't bad or shadow cam style? Because... It is bad. It's not bad in terms of stats, but in game, it just feels a little bit slow on the acceleration side of things. And the agility, he turns a bit like a tank. He's got 59 agility, so he turns very, very slowly. At the same time, it allows him to have this powerful dribble, this powerful run, this powerful presence in the game and that's what makes this card the card the presence that he brings to the table it's very hard to get past the Patrick Vieira on this game you guys know that if you've played Patrick Vieira it's very hard to get past in the midfield and stuff like that Gilles is the exact same I'm not saying he's as good as Patrick Vieira or anything like that but this guy is the cheap man's Patrick Vieira on this game so let's get the overall rating and this might shock you in a good way because overall rating for Gilles will be an overall of an 8 point Eight. It brings him ahead of Mkhitaryan and Goethe and the likes of Lingard and stuff like that because I was so pleased with this card. I'm so pleased I've done him. You guys told me to do him. I did him and I'm fully happy I did get this card because I'm going to use this card in most of my like Bundesliga sides because I'm rocking a Bundesliga side right now. Gilles Boji will be at the heart of that team every single time because he is that good for me on this game. For you, I'm not too sure. If you have done this one, let me know in the comment section below. Value for coins, 10 out of 10. You don't even have to use coins. You really, really don't. You could do the weekly objectives and uh, the squad battles like I did say earlier on. But if you don't want to do that, SBCs, again, can help you to get this card. So if you do want to use the coins, it's fully worth the value of those SBCs. In terms of the enjoyment in 9.2, you've seen him score goals. You've seen him defend. You've seen him control the game. 9.2 is fully, fully deserved. In terms of foot chance readiness, I think today for me, Proved that he was. I wasn't sure beforehand, but playing in the foot champions today was Gilles Vosch here, and what he brought to the table, definitely, man. He rocked it against Hullet. He rocked it against Vieira. Hell, he rocked it against, who's that other guy? Cruyff. He did a great job against Pelé. He rocked it against bloody Pelé and came out on top in that match. This guy is so damn good. So he's getting all those ratings fully deserved for myself. In terms of similar players, it speaks volumes as well because we've got a very overpowered player in Condobia on the right. Condobia at the start of the game, he was god level. He was so good. Right now, he's good as well. But this card, I reckon, is better than Condobia. And lads, I reckon he's better than Fabino. And that is saying something as well. Because Fabino is one of the go-to CDMs on this game. One of the hardest CDMs to get past on this game. Gilavoji, it raises him up a level. It raises Gilavoji above Fabino for me. And Patrick Vieira's in there as well. Because 
the most similar player to this card will be Patrick Vieira, and um, you can definitely tell in game the key pro will be the tackle of the card because he just tackles for fun with the aggression that he's got, with the strength that he's got, with the tackling that he's got, the position that he's got. Everything about this card just leads this guy to become one of the best tacklers on the game. The key con will be the acceleration because uh, if you don't add a chem style to it, it's only going to be 69, and 69 is not good enough. And um, the best chem style for me, and I would advise you guys to use this one, will be Shadow. In terms of top 10 central midfielders today, we have Eusebio, Pogba, De Bruyne, Socrates, Messi, Marco Royce, Malinkovic, Savage, there is the boy, foot swap, Gilles comes in with an 8.8 .8 at number 8, so all the 8's right there, he comes in right smack bang at number 8, right in the middle of the second sector, and Mkhitaryan is right behind him on an 8.7, and Goethe is in there in the 8.7 as well, Gilles Boji, it's just he brings a presence, and presence on this game is very hard to master because, say if you come up against Hullet, Hullet's got that presence in midfield. Say if you come up against a Pogba, Pogba has the presence in midfield. This guy also has the presence in midfield, which is, um, it's shocking really because he's an 84 rated card. So lads, if I was going to do Pedro, I can't really comment on Pedro because I haven't used him or anything like that. So I can't say Pedro's good, Pedro's bad. But what I can say is Shilavoji is well worth the four foot swap items. And um, I, I wish there was like like 18 foot swaps so I can get Pedro and Shilavoji. But unfortunately, there's only 14. And 14 gets you Pedro. Four gets you this man. And I'm very happy with my choice. Lads, if you have enjoyed this review, and it has helped you in some way, shape, or form, whether you've got him and you're not using him, or you're using him, and you want to know how to use him, I had him set a man mark and stay back while attacking for those that were interested. And um, whether you're going to complete this or not, literally let me know in the comment section below. And lads, support yesterday was immense. Can we keep that same support today by bringing the bloody hype? Lads, let's smash that thumbs up button yet again. 1,000 likes is your target. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.